Please welcome Ben Schwartz. Hi, Ben. Oh my God, Drew, we're wearing the same flower. This is insane. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so embarrassed. Oh, I'm mortified. Ben, oh. I love your accoutrement. Oh, thank you. Hello, Ross, how are you? I'm fantastic. Now I want a flower. Thanks a lot. You have of a big course. sunflower, look. Oh, I do. Oh my God, perfect. You have the biggest flower of us all. Uh, thanks for noticing. <laughs> <laughs> Ben, this is the first time you were actually playing a father, and you're not a father in real life. Tell me about that, because I have felt the same way. It was fun. Look at that kid. Look how that's Matilda Lawler, who was on Broadway before she did this movie, and she's incredible. So it made the whole process amazing. First day, I like took I took Matilda and threw her really high in the air. She held onto the rafters and was like, <laughs> "Where? What am I doing?" And I did all the wrong dad things. We were it was terrible. But then we got a hang of it. It was great. All right, Ben, will you do some headlines with us? I can't wait. I don't know what's about to happen, and I'm so thrilled I can't wait. We're going to start with one that I think you'll be able to get behind, all right? The Boston Globe reports that typewriters are making a comeback. Business is booming for the little shop called Cambridge Typewriter, and sales are up by 40%, and a lot of younger people are coming in looking for an old clickety-clacker. <laughs> ben, what are your thoughts? This is going to blow everything, but I'm not really at a news desk. I have oh. a series. I have two different typewriters. Oh. I love typewriters. It's like one of my favorite things. Do you actually use them? Like you, when you're right. I, I you probably use it maybe twice a week. I send my friends uh, letters and I pretend I'm either them from the past that sent them a letter from like, or it's their grandparents. <laughs> or if my friend talks trash about like an NBA player on Twitter, I'll pretend I'm that NBA player and LeBron James will send that person a note. Be like, how dare you make fun of me on Twitter? and stuff like that, so okay. it's been very. Not to be pushy, but maybe we could be pen pals. I want to hear about what my past, and I like writing letters. I'm a big oh, snail mail person. Wait, you give me an address, you will get a letter ASAP. I can't wait till you get a letter from I that. know, me too. Hi. I hope it was okay, I just was like, Ben, we're gonna write each other. Mm -hmm. It's gonna oh, be great. It's good. Well, this is exciting because next, we're talking peanut butter passion <sighs> in today's food news. Okay. Nom, 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 nom. Delish reports that a recent survey asked people if they are a creamy peanut butter person or a crunchy peanut butter person, and it was split right down the middle, 50-50, but people were so passionate that half of them said they wouldn't even date someone who liked the other kind, and to that I say, come on. The poll also looked at peanut butter personalities. Listen to this, creamy types are early birds and more introverted, and crunchies are extroverted night owls. <laughs> well, I, I, I feel very strongly about peanut butter. I love it. And I buy creamy because that's just what I know. But whenever I have crunchy, I feel like such a bad boy. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right? A jacket to go out at night. Yeah. Can I also give a follow-up question to you guys? Yeah. What are your thoughts on tiny spoons? I love a tiny spoon. Love a tiny spoon. I think about this literally every day. Mm -hmm. Because I do my yogurt parfait in the morning and I have this one tiny spoon, one of them, and I have to wash it every single morning because it's my only tiny spoon. You gotta buy another one, Ross. You really? earned it. You deserve it. Um, here's a tip. Don't eat peanut butter on television. <laughs> um, ben, are you it's crunchy or creamy? Are you nice Listen or naughty? Me. I could do both. I love I love both. Sometimes mm -hmm. one of my things when I'm filming, if I'm, my energy is getting low, is I get a peanut butter and jelly sandwich on whole wheat. Uh -huh. And I usually use creamy for that. Yeah, I think for a sandwich, it's too much combativeness with the bread. You need creamy. But I just bought a well, jar. You cover, your mouth. you cover your mouth when you chew. You're so polite. This Ross is... and I are absolute dogs. <laughs> absolute dogs. <laughs> just maniacs. <laughs> rabid dogs. Eating like... <laughs> I told you it's for bad boys. <laughs> <laughs> what are you? Are you creamy or crunchy? I'm both. I'm a straddler. <laughs> I'm naughty and nice. As, you, as you've gotten older, do you feel like one side has taken over more or no? Oh, one side definitely takes over more sometimes. I get real crunchy sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> um, but then I get also um, really creamy sometimes. <laughs> I could be like super packed with peanuts, but also I could have none in me, none. I am with you, Ben. And I think you play a fantastic father in Flora and Ulysses. It's available right now on Disney Plus. And um, Ben, we have unfinished business, clickety-clack. Send the letter. I'll do it, I can't wait. Make I'm sure so you write back. 
Make, clickety clack, make sure you're right back. And you'll <laughs> and you'll respond to me, or this will be very embarrassing. I'll never get a response. No, no, no. pen pals is a two-way okay. street. I'm gonna smear like peanut butter on the inside <laughs> so you know it's me. So tell people <laughs> not to be weirded out if it's like an envelope like with a half peanut butter in it. I, it might be the new sealant we were all looking for. <laughs> <laughs> This is That'll scary. make you want to lick the envelopes. All right. Thank you, Ben, so much. We'll be in touch.